How you guys doing? My name is Joseph Charles Call, the new face of art. Uh, one dollar per minute, forever, and the maximum one dollar per second, forever. That's one thousand four hundred forty every single day at noon if you own my painting, or eighty-six thousand four hundred every single day at noon at the second price, forever. Um, so. Let's just get right to it. So what I do, if you're new, what I do is I have a canvas of my face. And okay, I don't want to touch it anymore. That's what she looks like, guys. Literally five seconds. Now I've had people that say, oh, I've never ever seen art done like this before. You don't even use paintbrushes. Never used a paintbrush since high school, 30 some years ago, when I did my first art way back in commercial art long time ago um, let's see if I can actually see this well, that looks pretty good actually I just want to do uh, just a second guys gonna pause this the stuff gets really itchy and if I don't itch it, it I can't even think see it's getting itchy again and if I don't itch it it just drives me crazy and can't think straight that's the problem with this stuff is is you're doing something unique but drives you nuts um. oh. oh that's nothing um. what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little bit of I'm gonna make this one a little bit gold. A little bit goldy. Uh, deeper red. So maybe half and half, I don't know. Oh, this is dried out this gold. Uh, sorta. Kinda. Amazing, this is the 71st painting. 71st painting. And, uh, wow, 71st painting. So, we're gonna uh, just gonna let that. Let's see. I do not want to smudge it because. You know, I wonder if I should even just put this down and do it because I'm ruining painting. Like, you gotta see it, right? Okay. Okay. It's kind of clear, but it's. I think the gold on there kind of uh, kept it from inking really good, but this one looks pretty good actually. You can see the colors kind of orangey here, red, 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 then black. It's not perfect. It's not perfect. 71 and 127. Okay. So number 127 canvas 70 
one. I hope this ink in the long run doesn't eat through this canvas. I, I don't think it will. But you never know. I don't think it will. The other ones I looked, it didn't. It's just, it's just marked. It's just ink. So, for authentication purposes in the future, hopefully one day I don't hit that camera. So, another painting, 71. On my way to 101. Pretty straight, actually. So, one dollar per minute forever. Um, management. I have one person that wants to be my manager from the states, and honestly, I don't know if I really need one at this moment in time. Uh, I don't know. Uh, you're probably watching this right now. Her name's Mavis. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't honestly don't know if I really need it. Uh, maybe assistant down the road when I'm doing shows because I'm stopping at 101 of these and then I'm doing my next series and then I think I'm only going to do like literally maybe three series or maybe even two or I don't know I really don't know what's going to happen or maybe I'll just stop at these paintings I don't know um, it's a one dollar a minute forever um, this is the size 10 by 10 it's uh, by an inch or inch and a half I don't know what that is 2 inches I remember yeah that's about 2 inches side I don't do the side or anything like that some people say oh you have to do the side no why, why? nobody has to say I don't have to do the side and then I'd have to do this and it's just kind of impossible to do the sides like that I could so, I was watching uh, a couple of YouTube channels where people are talking about pricing and, uh, you know, and I want my pricing the way I do it. And, you know, and these ain't cheap. These are done in a unique way with a new medium. I don't know if you're an artist out there watching this right now search medium Ben Nye theatrical face paint Ben Nye the company on canvas you ain't gonna find it I've tried and tried other people have tried to find this is a new coloring new medium on canvas never been done before I've looked unless somebody out there did it and never posted it anywhere but no, mine is Ben Nye on canvas. First in the world. First to price at a dollar a minute forever. As you're seeing this right now, it's going up a dollar a minute. Right now, it's about nine minutes. So it's about nine, nine dollars. And it goes up forever. One year, it's a half a million. Two years, it's a million. Five years, it's 2.5 million. Ten years, it's five million. Twenty years, it's 10 million you understand 40 years it's 20 million so on 100 years 50 million 200 years 100 million 500 years 250 million 1000 years 500 million 2000 years 100 million dollars if it's by the second then it's one of the first billion dollar paintings 
And they say that is the holy grail right now in the world of art is a painting to hit a billion dollars. Technically, if you go by a dollar per second, all my paintings hit a billion dollars. My very first canvas painting hits a billion dollars in what? I don't know, what's 86,400 divided into a billion? You, you know, I can't even do that on top of my head. I don't know, 900 years or something? Or, I don't know. But, let's see, it's 31 million a year, so technically 100 millions within 10 years. Oh, a billion would be in... Yeah, just under a hundred years. Well, this it would hit a billion if people followed, and it, and it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Uh, in the world of art today, um, there's millions of artists out there, all competing with each other, including me. I'm competing with every artist out there, uh, and every artist that I see on YouTube. Uh, that has channels and I've been searching them out and some of you I've actually commented and you're probably actually watching um, you all talk all of you talk in oils talk in acrylic talk in um, every medium that is already known for art uh, landscapes air paintings um, Thomas Kincaid in, in his cottages, stuff like that, uh, which I really like. I like I like some of his stuff because it's his own style. It's like you look at his cottages, it's his style. You look at my stuff, my style. Who am I in the world? Nobody. But I guarantee it. I guarantee it that somebody in the world, pretty soon I've had people interested in my stuff and everything my art and people search me out and they want it but they're scared of the pricing they're scared of uh, even at say four or five days this is five grand and they're even scared of that people are scared of, of even at some of my paintings at a half a million dollars saying listen you're a nobody how can come and I said uh, the art prices itself I put a dollar a minute and that's it and it prices itself every single one of my art it's priced by the upload date and I have no control after that I, I've changed the pricing from a second to 77 of you 77,000 a day and you know and if you watched all my videos you'll see how it kind of morphed to where it is at where it's people say they can see this at a dollar a minute 1440 every single day at noon you have this in your office and your business and your house now I've talked to even some people saying you know what I opened up a whole bunch of different doors with this art uh, if somebody if people take it seriously in the future and start buying at the dollar per minute and they're picking this up at two million a million you literally could have this in your house say you got this for 1440 tomorrow at noon you could have this in your brand spanking new house and within two years if people take it seriously this could pay for your house you could say you had a company and and you bought this for even 10 grand and and everybody starts knowing this is a dollar everybody knows that this is Joseph Charles call they all look similar except the colorings all diff colorings all different no matter what this could shore up somebody's company you could have like 10 of these in a in a company and and if people bought them in the future and even if it went up to a dollar per second it could literally save your company if you have a financial institution stuff like that you could literally save your company why not if people take it seriously 
And I've had people say, oh, Chuck, that's some kind of scam. How is it a scam? This is not a scam. And, and I'll make it clear. The day this is made, today, the day it's uploaded, it's considered born piece of art. It's and it goes up a thousand four hundred and forty forever from the day you see an upload. The day that is time stamped on this video goes up forever. So how's that a scam? If somebody goes, Oh, I'm buying you bought that for five hundred thousand dollars and it's a been a year, oh you got scammed. No. Because that person literally could say, well, tomorrow it's 500,000 plus 1,440. Two days from now, times the two, times three, times four, time, forever. So you buy one of my, and there's people that hold my art. And there's people watching right now, and I know some of you are watching right now, that my art that you're holding could, could, I'm just saying could or might make you a multi-millionaire. It depends how long you hold on to. If you've got a really nice one, and I know some of you, and we've even talked, and and the one you I've given you or you have or bought or whatever. Uh, like my sisters, they have original Joseph Trust Combs and that I gave them because they're my sisters. And I'm sure a couple are watching right now. And, and just remember... There's a video backing up your painting. And you know, anybody watching this knows it ain't fake. It isn't, uh, you can't forge this because you're watching the video of this actually being made. So how powerful is that? One of the only art, probably the only art in the world that uh, is pricing itself. Every single and I even a couple times I go, oh, what's that piece of art uh, worth today? And then I'll, and I tested it myself, and I go, oh, okay, like I just did one called Crash, and that was on December fourteenth of twenty seventeen, and I calc and it calculates a four hundred and like four hundred eighty thousand dollars. Now, money. People say, oh, that's a big number, a big number for a painting. Some of the biggest paintings in the world, some of the paintings that uh, artists are doing right now that are live earn a millions of dollars. So what's such a big difference in my art? Uh, it may be because some of them, uh, people latched onto them, say, oh, they earned it kind of thing well i earned it i earned it because i'm giving you a piece of art that can't go down in the future this piece of art that you own in the future and you know this is a joseph trust cone and it goes up forever as we're talking right now it's 18 minutes and 29 seconds so it's 18 dollars as you're watching this well, technically, if you're watching this any time in the future, then it's uh, $18 as you're watching it now. Say it's a couple of years old, it's like a million plus $18. Right now, if this was uploaded and you would be the first ones to watch it, then ah, kind of screws your mind up a little bit. But How many pieces of art out there are painted with paint brushes 90 99 percent of them how many are painted with with like uh, i don't even know what you call it the uh, metal kind of brushes palette brush or whatever how many out there are painted with the face just ask yourself that how many art out there and the world's painted with the face a human face none because I'm the only one. I don't. I've researched it. I've looked for it for the last two years now. Nothing. Since I did the first. Well, that's maybe a year and some now. No, it's about a year. It's about a year and four months. 
well, year and four months since I started doing, you know, they're all time stamped. They're all unique. They all look similar because I want people in the future to instantly look and say, oh, that's a Joseph Charles Gong. Plus, I want this to be able to uh, say you own this, you take it to dinner. I'm serious. You take it to dinner. Say you're at a fancy restaurant and the waiter says, what's that? Oh, it's my Joe's Trust calling and a kind of a thing between all of you. I, it could be. I don't know. Maybe it's just crazy talk. I don't know. But that she could have at dinner. Maybe the, the, maybe the restaurant will have an easel for you or something. Or maybe one you just have it there and then everybody, you, you know, you never know. You could take it on vacation with you you have a high-end piece of art now these will be knowing uh, known as high-end now I've learned to two couple things in the last year and some as people that I've talked to artists I've talked to collectors I've talked to galleries I've talked to I, some actually laughed at me and say how can you even think that I even had one person I've been talking to said how can you think you could even get away with it and I said get away with what and they said well get away with because somebody is going to come and buy that off you and for what you want and I said yeah and I hope every other one gets sold too at the same price so and it's simple in the future this goes up and up and up and up and that's all there is to it every video I say the pricing because I want to make it clear to everybody out there that yeah these are not cheap these may be a simple you know I watched documentary just a while ago um, you know it was from BBC and they say a little inexpensive inks on canvas could be a masterpiece and and it's just a circumstance of people who buy it and the reason I want the price so high because I want to uh, I don't want to say the right people to buy it I because the provenance the provenance is everything and if if these are like if this sits around if this particular painting sits around for five years it's it's literally 2.5 million dollars and if somebody buys it at 2.5 million dollars then it's going to be somebody with the right name connected to money connect which is the provenance which m makes it legit and it is legit this is legit i have 70 videos before this video saying the same thing 70 canvas all the ones with the triangle that you see there that's all canvas all the other ones just the stamp and remember each one of, if you own the stamps just on paper remember that's going up 36 dollars an hour that's a dollar or that's one cent uh second that's 36 dollars an hour that those ones are three hundred thousand a year just remember that even though it's pe remember even though it's just a piece of paper fancy paper with a stamp on it, remember each one of your pieces of art is going up and a lot of your all of yours is over a year now because I did that about two years ago so each one of those pe the paper ones each one of those are over 300,000 and Probably about 15 people lost theirs or misplaced or just didn't care thought it was just garbage or something I don't know maybe they didn't take it seriously but each one of those paper with the stamp has the original really crisp because it's really nice and and I have a couple framed on my wall right now and I'm telling you, those are th over 300,000. Next year, those are another 300,000. So that those are 600,000. Year after that, you're almost at a million for each one of those. Just simple little piece of paper. It's, it's my art. It's Joseph Trust Collins. It's a dollar, or it's not a dollar. Those ones are one cent a second. Not a minute. A second. Forever. That little piece of paper, remember... Those are going to go in the future. Remember, some of you are sitting there all 
yeah, I heard this, I heard this, but mine's still sitting here. Yeah, well, it's probably going to sit there for a while because, but remember, it doesn't matter how long you have it. It's still going up one cent a second, $36 an hour, every single day, forever, at noon. That's your piece. You know what? Uh, just a second. I'm going to go grab one. If I have it within reach here. If you're somebody that has these ones, these are the ones from the very. I don't want to really touch these too much. I don't want to get oil and stuff. I've been trying to not to touch it. So yeah, let's get a little one that's uh, kind of. A lot of these I have kept. This one's bent a little bit. How did that happen? Oh no, it's not. Yeah. Like this is one of the. I don't want to bend it. This is one of the originals. This is number 18. Video number 18. See? This. Just a piece of paper. But remember, it's one cent a second forever. This is three hundred thousand dollars. Well, that's crazy, Chuck. Well, no, it's not, because that's I'm the artist, and that's what I put those at. And and these ones I actually sign. Think of it as a hockey card, really expensive hockey card. This one's a decent one. Uh, this is number forty-nine. See? This, if you can see, three hundred thousand. Now, these ones are going to be for sale in the future. I kept some of the ones that uh, I gave a lot of these away, sold some, but I want to sell these too. Like I want them have them all sold in the future. There's. 300,000 times 20 in that little box it's my art it's on it has its own video okay that's what those are the original ones uh, the one every one of you that have those that are watching remember you're very few that actually has those ones I have the rest I could literally destroy these make yours worth more if I really wanted to but no there's only I think 50 of those and remember about 15 I know about 15 people lost theirs people just kinda oh what Chuck giving me a piece of paper yeah well I hope some of you destroyed them or lost it or whatever and some of you like oh Chuck could you make a new one no I cannot make a new one because it had its own video. That is a piece of art in itself on its own video. You don't know the art world. I do. I've been studying art for 30 years. Uh, not studying like at fine arts or anything like that. I'm native. I've been spent a lot of hours in the library reading art books on the internet lot so fame and fortune money I'm 50 years old and every year that goes by I feel it it's not about money I don't care about people say oh you just want to be you just want to make money easily I'm, I'm basically an old man in a way I, I feel like an old man I uh, you know you think I'm gonna be driving around in a Ferrari maybe maybe <laughs> who knows I don't know there's a smile on my face cuz that could happen it could happen in the art world, there's from around 20 million to 100 million in the households in just the United States alone. There's probably 100,000 people. All around the world, you're looking at probably another 400,000 people. Now, there's only 121 of these paintings. Or, no, 
101. There's only 71 now, but 101 I'm stopping at. And so I'm not making art to sell to you for 100 or 300, 400, 1,000 or 2,000. I'm making art. And a lot of these I keep for a month. And we're talking forty thousand dollars. I won't let it go. This will sit around for a month. I, if somebody wanted this now, no, they can't have it. A month from now, they can have it because I ain't mean, selling myself short. These are unique. Ask yourself three questions. Have you heard anybody in the world? This is at thirty minutes now. Have you heard heard of anybody in the world charging a dollar a minute? For art no have you heard of anybody in the world making art with their face no paint brushes literally took five seconds super minimal am I a minimalist I could be I could be um, so it's unique first medium on canvas that is not uh, oil acrylic pastel whatever this is brand new nobody's even thought about Ben Nye face paint on canvas and the color stays I got stuff that's a uh, couple about a year and a half old now and, and it's color hasn't faded so it might this kind of looks faded because of the way I took it off my face I didn't actually so it, it, it works um so what's that worth what's three firsts in the world worth it's worth a dollar a minute and when the first paintings go at the second price dollar per second then every single one of my paintings will be priced at dollar per second so if you're holding a painting for three years it's 900 million dollars that could happen the chances of that happen slim slim somebody with deep pockets or who owns one of my paintings I'll just have to say you know what I'm gonna buy a Joseph trust call and at the dollar per second and make it known to the world in the art world he's buying a Joseph trust call and at a dollar per second say here's 30 million dollars for one that's a year old and then all of a sudden every single one of my paintings will be at a dollar per second forever and then everybody that owns my art and trust me if you're watching this right now all the subscribers on this channel is not art people those are people from something else if you're watching this and you and you like art and and you're thinking that you a lot of people know this no nobody knows this and when I start doing my gallery shows doing my personal shows and I have planned for Edmonton here in my city New York I want to travel the world for the next couple of years and I'm selling these at what I want and I'm gonna have a lot of people laugh at me I know that I'm gonna have media just like ha 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 until until somebody says well uh, it's too bad you laughed at Chuck because uh, I'm buying his painting at a dollar per minute because they have it on their wall. It goes up forever. Who in a right mind in the art world that collects would even think that is bad? That's a dream come true for a collector. That's a dream come true. Thank you for watching. Just trust Colin the new face of art look out world fame and fortune I want it I want the fame fortune it's gonna come with it but in order to be famous you need to make a fortune and the art world you don't make it unless you don't make it fame Famously, unless you make a fortune. If you don't believe that, ask Damien Hirst, ask de Kooning, ask some of the biggest artists in the world that are alive. I think Jasper John's still alive, and he had paintings go for 100 million. 
I don't know if he owned them at the time, but I kept a lot of my paintings and I, uh, in the next couple of years, I believe I'm going to only have maybe one or two because for two years straight, I'm going to be traveling from here to New York, from New York to Paris or to LA, to Paris, to Germany, to Dubai, to Australia, every single place in this world, I'm going to go and until all my paintings are gone. Japan is definitely on the list. So, to the future, you may be watching me now, and you may be, and maybe you've been watching some of my videos now, and I know some of you probably watched almost every one, because, you know, where's these views coming from? Get like 20 views every week. So, some of you, you're seeing Joseph Charles Call. I want to stand shoulder to shoulder with the big. I want to make history. And I think I found a way to make history as an artist. They say that everything in the world has been done in art. Maybe it has now. Maybe it has now. Maybe it's done. Maybe it's done. Everything's been done after me. Joseph Charles called the new face of art forever. This goes up. I enjoy it right now, but I know in the future this is going to be gone. And I look at some of my art and, and I'm like, wow. When you actually see it, it's like, wow. So if you're an artist, if you're watching this, if you're a YouTuber, artist watching this, collector, gallery owner, and I know some of you are, because uh, I've been talking to a bunch of you, and, and I've had people say, that is the most brilliant thing I've even heard in art. I've had one person, um, if some of you want to comment in the comment sections and say, yeah, I'm the one that said that, and you don't care about publicity and publicity in the future by all means uh, comment but you know and some people say you know what you know I seen the Banksy thing get really big and where is it now guaranteed when these start selling for half a million hundred million whatever hundred thousand two hundred thousand so on it's going to make history. It's going to make the news. It's going to happen. This is a long video. And I'm probably going to be shaking my own head when I'm watching this video. Because I've known it. But I'm just trying to drill it into your head. This is real. This is a dollar per minute painting. Made in a unique way. You know, anybody in the future could come and say, well, my stuff is going to be a dollar a minute. And I've actually had a couple of people say that already. Well, my landscape and my landscapes are where, you know, takes like a month. And I could say that. And I said, yeah, you could say that. But my stuff was first. I'm the one who came up with it. I'm the one who invented because I tell people when people say, oh, you can't do that. I've had somebody just a little while ago right to my face. You can't do that. And I said, why? Have you heard this before? Have you, have anybody ever? And he says, no, because it's a dollar per square inch. Or it's $2. Or if you're somebody big, it's $20 a square inch. And I said, not for me. It's a dollar a minute. I'm taking time. I'm taking time. Not the inches of a square canvas I'm taking time time is my friend time is my partner time is my ally and you own one and very few of you in the future are gonna own this on your wall and you can say now time is my friend time is my ally because that Joseph Trust call is going up dollar a minute forever 
Thank you for watching. Only time will tell.